If you want to travel to your favorite moon base for a drink or trade between galaxies, you need good hardware. You need a spacecraft or spaceship. Today we will talk about types of spacecraft. Personal spacecraft are small suborbital devices that allow traveling across continents in a short period of time. With additional upgrades and fuel, you could enter orbit and travel to a nearby moon. If you are a business holder in need of moving goods, you will require something bigger. Personal cargo craft will suit you well. Vegetables will be fine if you install cold storage. Construction companies need heavy lifting spacecraft. Moving materials from surface to nearby moons is an energy demanding challenge. Spacecraft also need to be super stable to hover above the target for hours. Civilians and workers can be moved from place to place with ferry spacecraft. Those do not require complicated machinery and are produced in great quantities across the local group. To move huge amounts of fuel, companies hire cargo spaceships. Those marvels are the biggest types of spaceship for use inside a planet-moon system. Fuel tanks can be replaced with cargo containers. Luxurious spaceships are the ones that allow the rich to enjoy different views across the solar systems. Everything you can imagine, and even some things you can't, is available on board of those dream ships. Military spacecraft are a different story. Space fighters are one- or two-man killing machines. Their hulls are thick to protect them against projectiles speeding at up to 50 km per second. They are quick and maneuverable. Military troop transports are lightweight ships with light protection against hostile fire. Many of those ships are designed to be scalable. Bigger spaceships can be made out of smaller craft joined together. Dropships are transport craft that can enter planetary atmospheres under a high angle and impact with terrain at great speed. They can deliver troops, vehicles and hardware from orbit within minutes. Corvettes are small armored war spaceships able to patrol local space and dispatch small fighters docked to the hull side. Corvettes exist in different versions and are multi-task spaceships. Mine layer warships are designed to place tiny stealth mines in space. If a hostile ship is detected ahead of time, placing nuclear mines is a great strategy to cause immense first strike damage. Blockade ships are pure firepower placed in a single stationary ship. Those vessels can burst huge barrages of firepower at once, have extremely thick hulls and can impact the enemy like an asteroid. Shield protection spacecraft are a stationary type that is able to release a wall of tiny particle nanobots. A high-speed impact with a shield causes great damage to hulls and electrical systems. Destroyers are fast, highly maneuverable warships protecting other units in a fleet, convoy or battle group. Those are capable of carrying a huge variety of weapons and systems and work as intelligence units. Cruisers are large, heavily armed assault spacecraft. Those can cover huge distances and are capable of interstellar travel and hyperspace jumps. They can carry heavy mass projectiles or heavy and light cannons. Carriers are huge, heavily armored spacecraft with powerful weapons. Those spaceships can withstand multiple impacts and are difficult to destroy. They carry smaller units and thousands of troops inside. Motherships are the carriers of carriers and are able to travel between stars and galaxies with their hyperspace capabilities. Motherships can carry entire civilizations and can remain fully self-sustainable for eons. Matter extractors are spacecraft used to acquire resources from planetary surfaces or asteroids. Those are part of a mothership group and are carried on board the mothership. Extractors can also dump garbage. Portable power plant spaceships are part of a mothership group and can deliver huge amounts of energy. Due to the hazards of matter-antimatter reactions, those ships always remain a few astronomical units away from the rest of the group. Matter production platforms use energy from portable power plants. Those massive smashers are the longest spaceships in existence and can deliver any elements from the periodic table. Research facility spaceships are platforms for scientists working on dangerous materials or performing risky experiments. Those can also be used as containment units for extremely hazardous viruses or alien organisms. Sentry Array spacecraft are platforms used to observe the surrounding space and give early warning of hostile movements. Those contain powerful telescopes and sensors to detect infrared signals from deep space. 
Asteroid protection spacecraft are similar to blockade ships, although without serving a military purpose. If an asteroid is on course to hit the surface of an inhabited planet or damage the fleet, these take action to destroy the object. Unmanned intergalactic probes are tiny craft used to explore galaxies and systems that have never been visited before. They accelerate up to highest possible speeds and are sent in all directions sending back data about their findings. Communication spacecraft are relays used to share data within a system or between stars. Those are unmanned and automated. Communication between galaxies is pointless, since the distances are too far to send signals efficiently. Generation freezers are programmed to stay in space indefinitely. Their occupants remain in deep freeze, waiting for better times. Those ships often travel between galaxies and may never reach any destination. Gravity well spaceships can knock off spacecraft traveling through hyperspace. Those may be a part of a blockade system to help prevent spaceship attacks directly from hyperspace at close range. Unmanned hyperspace platform. Ships that are too small to be able to enter hyperspace can be attached to hyperspace platforms without needing to dock inside a carrier or a mothership. Von Neumann probes are self-replicating platforms. Those huge spaceships are able to manufacture their own copies and build anything that can be designed. Von Neumann probes are also able to create life from scratch. A big thank you to those who have decided to support us on Patreon. I hope this to be the beginning of a great channel which will be able to sustain in the long run and most of all provide you with a great dose of entertainment. Here is a list of my current supporters. There are many more types of spacecraft we could discuss, but this is it for today. In our future videos, we will explore more of the science fiction concepts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and do watch my other videos on the channel.